Hey guys, Mechanic CG here and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport. Today is episode number 24. If you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. Alright, we are here with the Ferrari 360 Modena Cup. So this is with the old Ferrari. Ow, I just punched my mic. Uh, we're going around Laguna Seca, Maple Valley, Blue Mountains Raceway, uh, Test Track Infield, and then finishing off at New York. All right, let's go. The Simp Boss is hiding in the shadows. Surf Fallen is a leader of the Simps. <laughs> Don't forget if you uh, follow or uh, sub, tip, <laughs> cheer bits whatever or if you super chat on youtube and all that stuff you can do damage to sir fallen we can finally kill him off <laughs> let's get rid of him we don't need him no more <laughs> i think he's been simp boss for about a month and a half now which is mental This car's actually doing a pretty good job. I've just realized my hair is getting way too long. I'm gonna have to cut it off. I'm gonna go bald. That's the one thing I will give Ferrari's props for. Their engines are beautiful. They sound amazing. Not bad, lads. Not bad. I just heard an air bubble going through my AIO then. I really want to get a, um, so I bought, uh, for, cause my birthday was a couple of weeks ago. So I bought the AIO cooler for my PC, but when I bought it, I bought a keycap for my keyboard and it's specifically, um, it's on the escape key and it's got two little koi fish in it. Um, and one of them's black and white. The other one's, uh, orange and white. And it looks amazing. And the thing is, I absolutely love koi fish. And I have no clue why. They are the coolest animals that have ever existed. Like, fish are just wet and slimy a lot of the time. But koi fish just look elegant. It's like the one fish that actually looks elegant. <laughs> and they are awesome. Uh, how to stream xbox to from the pc um the only way you can stream any old generation console is with a capture card so if you want to stream a ps2 ps1 ps3 xbox 360 xbox original 
uh, Nintendo Wii, Wii U, Wii Switch, all of those have to be done with a capture card. There is no other way you can do it. Capture card into a PC. You can... Here's the thing. You can use your phone and film your TV. That's a possibility. But it never looks good. So... Yeah. Up to you on that one. But yeah, you have to use a capture card into a PC and that way you can record it. Bing. Bing, bing. Bing. Bing, bing. Joe, you know I did. I forgot to uh, save the replay for the last... Um, what's it called? The last car, so I've got to redo it. Great. So annoyed. I'm so annoyed. So annoyed with myself. I messed up. So annoyed. So annoyed with myself. I messed up. I messed up. Yeah. That did happen quite a lot when I recorded my playthrough before. It's quite easy to forget to save replays when there's... What? There is a save replay on the menu, but... There's no way to go back in the menu once you press continue, so if you miss that opportunity to save the replay, you miss it. Got some new people in the chat today. Welcome. Uh, so I've got two Ava Media capture cards. So I use the uh, Live Gamer Portable. Uh, only reason I used that was because before I had my PC, it allowed me to just record footage straight to the capture card. Um, so I didn't have the need for OBS. Now that I'm streaming and recording at the same time, I just have it on PC mode and get the ultimate quality out of it. Um, but yeah, Ava Media Live Gamer Portable um, is probably one of the better ones if you don't have a decent PC. Because that way you can just record straight to the capture card. Um, if that's not a possibility though, there are other options. Ava Media has got a nice 4K one that's got RGB in it. Um, that you put into your PC. It looks beautiful. And I really want to get one. Um, and more than likely, I think once we've done with Forza Motorsport 1, 2, 3, probably 4 as well. I'm going to buy that capture card so that I can start recording the content in 4K. It's going to be over the top in terms of quality, but I don't care. <laughs> I'm going to do it anyways. Because uh, I think Forza Motorsport... I'm not sure whether Motorsport 5 is in 4K. I think that's still 10, 1080p. But I know Motorsport 7 has a 4K mode. Definitely. There we go. Not bad. 23 grand. Woohoo! And uh, I've just put a song on. On stream. And uh, we are going to finish this race before the song ends. And more than likely, we'll be halfway through the next race before the song ends. Max resolution is 1920 by 1080. Yeah. As long as you're getting a 1080p capture card, you're going to be in modern day standards anyways. We're a bit of a way off before 4K becomes a standard. Um... Even though 8K is becoming a thing, 4K is going to be a while before it becomes a standard. Um, just because of the fact that it's such a leap up, because it's four times the amount of pixels as anything below it. So, the only reason I'm tempted to start recording, maybe even for Motorsport 3, to be honest, I may end up getting the capture card, because... If you're recording in 4K, 
it makes stuff look slightly higher quality on lower end displays. Because if it's like if you watch a 1080p on a 720p display, 1080p video on a 720p display, it looks slightly sharper than if you watch that video in 720p. It's the same thing on a phone. Like I watch majority of my videos on YouTube at 1440p because it looks better on my 1080p display. Bing, 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 bing. So yeah, that's what... I may end up doing that for my content. But I don't know. Oh my god. That was like the boiling of the kettle. Just building up and then... This song's been going for three minutes now and we still haven't gotten to a drop yet. <laughs> Lost the uh, rear there. Not ideal. Here we go. We're starting to get into the beat. Stuck in the grass. <laughs> I'm actually going to have a look into um, for the next episode in the series. Uh, not next episode. The next uh, game, which will be Motorsport 2. I'm going to look into adding music to the videos again but I'm not gonna like label what the songs are it's just gonna there's gonna be music there and that's it and what I'll try and do is use monster cat player to uh play some music over it so it sounds good it just means that you might end up cutting in to the middle of a song at the start of a race the song will go on and then it will stop midway through when you go to the next race. That's just what might ha end up happening. We'll see what happens. Not bad. Pretty bad. Coming up to 8 o'clock now. 8 p.m. It is definitely a bit strange. Because uh, doing this Forza content. This is the first time I'm actually recording any YouTube stuff. 
past 6 p.m. Normally, I record all and even before. So when lockdown hit and even before lockdown, all of my YouTube content, I would give myself a window from 12 till 4. So a nice four hour window to record as much content as possible. And then I would edit it. I'd upload a video at 9 p.m., something like that. And then that would be the day. Done. So. It gave me time to do stuff. But definitely now. Doing it in the night when streaming. It's definitely a different thing. But it's good. I, 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 I. Ferrari around Blue Mountains. This is, what could possibly go wrong? Everything. Everything is going to go wrong. It already has gone wrong, probably. Maybe. Who knows? Yeah, see, told you. <laughs> Fuck that one up. Oi! Get back. Prick. Yeah, I'm talking to you, you fat bastard. You fat bastard. Ow! Oh, I've just kicked the fucking cupboard. Ah, oh, that really hurt. <laughs> Don't do that. Oh, Lewis, did I tell you what I bought? I did something stupid. I bought an M.2 uh, SSD. So uh, I got more storage now. But I have a good excuse for it. It, it means it should speed up my editing. I know I have 8 terabytes. But that's for um, my footage. When it comes to editing, it's extremely slow. Because the file sizes are so large, it takes like two minutes to load it. I know I didn't need it. But fuck it. <laughs> I don't need the storage space. No. I need the speed. Because, um... Well, I mean, sure. I still have the money for the pile of supply anyways. But yeah, I've got the SSD because, um... What is it? I'm only actually using 40% of my CPU whenever I'm rendering stuff. Um... Because the hard drive is the limiting factor. So rendering time is taking a huge um, huge hit. Because loading it off of the hard drive is just too slow. So hopefully running it off of an SSD will one improve the speed of video renders. Hopefully knocking it down by about half. Um... Also making it more easier because when it comes to like whenever I drag a clip into um, any editing software, it will take forever to load it. And also, anyways, I'm going to wait for the power supply because I really don't want to take the entire PC apart yet. I want to get a, a backlog of content first. And then that way, spend an entire day just pulling the whole thing apart and putting it all back together again. Because that's what I'll need to do. When it comes to doing the power supply, the whole thing's got to come out. And go back in. But... Hopefully, if I'm buying a modular one, it might actually be a lot easier to cable manage because I won't have wasted cables. 
I want because I know there's one cable in there that has nothing plugged into it whatsoever. There's like an extra SATA cable that's got nothing in it. I've got a hard drive cable that's got two SATA things connected. And another SATA cable that's got only two connected again. So I could put two of them as one cable. As long as it's got four connectors on it. Boom, 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 boom. Not bad. Smooth operator. Smooth operator. Fry's back there. Get your ass back. Give me more space. Out of the way. There you go. Right, one more lap to go. Oh, shit. The poor Ferrari. And I've got another Ferrari just... Oh. Come on. Oh, Lewis, have you noticed something? I don't know if you've, if you've noticed. <laughs> At all. Here we go. Team Rotora. I do still find it funny, though, that people are getting so annoyed with Xbox for adding ads, like passive ads, into the games. And, like, promoting that kind of thing. Like, look, I'm going to turn this corner. Head down this road. We're going to see about three or four ads. You ready? One ad there. There you go. One ad there. One ad there. Oh, look. Another ad there. Sure, it's backwards, but when we go around the track the other way, we'll see it. Four adverts. <laughs> Didn't really affect my gameplay, though. And in fact, actually, because the fact that there are adverts makes it a little more immersive. Because stuff blends in.
There we go. Not bad. It was a good race. And we're level 32. Brembo upgrades. Okay. Okay. We drive. Let's go. A little bit of synth wave going on. Come on. Come on, you old camp. We're going on an adventure. How about I get fucked, mate? How about you're a wanker? Do you know one thing that I don't understand about cyberpunk style? So cyberpunk... The style of like cyberpunk 2077, like synthwave and all that stuff. It's all inspired by music from the 80s, neon lights from the 80s and all that stuff. But it's supposed to be a futuristic representation. I, I don't understand it. It makes no sense to me. It's a little bit like Fallout 4. That's the one thing I didn't get about Fallout 4. Was why on earth... Oh, balls. Shit. That's not going well. Too busy focused on chatting. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. It's, it's the same story with Fallout 4. Why on earth is Fallout 4 based in... Um, the 60s and 50s everything all the design is based around the 50s and 60s but it's based in 2050 2060 2070 and all that it's like what dun, 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 dun. Okay, they're not catching up. We should be fine. Not bad. Right, that's one lap done. We've got two more to go. Not too bad.
Not too shabby. I really like the scenery there, though. Those, um... That sort of, like, castle thing. Looks quite cool. I really want to go on holiday. I don't know why. I just want to go on holiday. <laughs> oh, I do have something very big planned. Um, for anyone on Twitch, if you're watching this on YouTube, it's probably already happened now. Um, but in potentially a week's time, I'm planning on doing a big subathon thing. Where we'll sit down, we might record some Forza content... Um, obviously won't be able to edit while on stream because wow <laughs> the streaming is going to take up the majority of the encoding so trying to edit as well whilst streaming is a bit of a pain in the ass um, but yeah that's kind of the plan Bum, 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 bum. mind this Bow, 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 bow. 
It's a tune. I don't know why I'm really into synthwave at the moment. It's not like a genre that I normally would listen to, but it just... It's got this chill to it. This car's ridiculously damaged. Beyond repair. Honestly, if, if, if I had a car this damaged, I'd just scrap it. I actually, it's in a running state, so I'd take it. If this Ferrari owner wants me to keep the car afterwards, I'll keep it. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know how to take that corner quickly without just cutting the corner. Because it is ri such a ridiculously slow and tight corner. Oh, shit. Not too bad. We got basically, like... Three, four more hairpin corners to do. So we got this one. We got the next one. We go through the wiggly bit. Then we got another sort of hairpin corner. And then go across the bus stop bit. And then you got the final chicane. Uh, final hairpin. I'm going to have to run downstairs and grab a drink in a minute. Because I'm dehydrated. As fuck. Yeah. We got five people in chat. Nice. <laughs> Welcome, people. Got two new people in chat. Let's go. If you wouldn't mind dropping a follow, I'd greatly appreciate it. Helps the channel out a ton. And we're going to cross the finish line. Let's go. We're only 60 followers away from uh, 900 on Twitch, which is uh, really awesome. I pressed the wrong button. Uh oh. Not too bad. This Ferrari's pushing me off the road. <laughs> Calm as a bitch. I sent it way too far. I literally made the Ferraris overshoot their corner. I don't know why, this Ferrari 360 is actually really nice. Beautiful car. This track's really nice as well, actually. I'm starting to grow a little bit more for the New York track. For the new... No. That can be taken out of context in so many ways. The, 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 the track is growing on me. I'm liking it a little more than I used to. I still hate a majority of this game, though. But if you're doing a Forza playthrough, you have to start in the first game. Else, 
It's not really a full-on Forza playthrough of every single game. So, we got to get this one out of the way. I think Motorsport 2 might also be a not favorable one. From what I've played so far of it, I haven't enjoyed it as much. I enjoyed it more than this. But it's still not great. I need to work out colors for each thumbnail. Because I've got dark blue for this one, but what I need a different color for each game. We do like orange for Motorsport 2. Black for Motorsport 3. Red for Motorsport 4. Brown for Motorsport 5. Actually, no. Light blue for Motorsport 5. I think that looked better. No. Light blue for Motorsport 6. Brown for Motorsport 5. Yeah. 5's going to have to be brown. Ugh. Um, and Motorsport 7 will be grey. Cool. I've got that planned out. <laughs> There's a lot of behind-the-scenes planning that I've actually done for this series. If you put exclamation mark Forza in the chat, you'll actually see one of those things that I've got planned. Um, which is the spreadsheet with every single race on it. And I update it during the stream slash at the end of the stream to make sure that my progression, I can keep up track of how far we are in the game. Oh, Jesus. What the fuck happened there? I have no clue what happened there. That was weird. Is this the last race? I think this might be the last race. If it's not, it's the second to last. Bollocks. A really long straight coming up. How fast can we get? About 160 miles an hour down there. Not too bad. There we go. Those were two very smooth corners, actually. I'm starting to work out the quirks of this game. Oh, and, 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 and what's pretty cool. Once we finish this um, level, level 25, we'll move on to level 30. Which means we start on um, professional. We won't have an amateur event because we've done all the amateurs. So it will be a professional event, probably one or two. One or two championship events, and then we'll go straight into two endurance events, I believe. So we'll start the endurance races then. So, very nice. 
pretty cool to see as well. That's the end of the race. I zoned out. <laughs> I completely zoned out then. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. Right, 20 grand. Let's take it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.